Before we get started in this tutorial, I do want to give a bit of a disclaimer that due to Vinyan going through a lot of big changes, especially possibly this year, I'm not sure, maybe a UI change may happen, but just keep in mind that if a UI change ever were to happen or if things were to be moved around, please make sure to apply your knowledge uh, depending on what you like how the UI has changed uh, from Vinyan to the video like you'll have to apply your knowledge pretty much and definitely make sure to you know if Thuvi has made any notes regarding where certain things are again join the uh join Thuvidrill discord server you'll pretty much get all the information about Vinyan there and with that being said though hey 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 hi everybody I hope you're all having a good day I hope you're all smiling and enjoying a lovely day in this following tutorial we're going to be connecting XR animator to Vinyan so that way we can have more enhanced webcam hand tracking or webcam full body tracking for your VTubing setup. So make sure you have Vinyan uh, installed and make sure also you have extra animator download, which I'll leave in the description below. So I'm going to go ahead and open up extra animator and it should look something like this. In order to load your custom 3D model, you can open up file explorer, find the VRM of your choice and click and drag it uh, above the start button and make sure you know you can click on the button. Now before I do click on the button though, I do need to make a bit of a disclaimer though. If you're already using a web camera in Vinyan and you want to use it for your face tracking or body tracking, you only got one web camera, make sure to disable the web camera inside of Vinyan. You can go to your settings here and then you can make sure to set the web camera here to don't use. So that way XR Amer can use your web camera. Otherwise, though, if you have like two web cameras, then make sure you have XR Amer and Vinyan with different cameras. For my case, though, what I want to do is I just want to add the webcam hand actually I want to do both the webcam hand tracking and just having the body movements that XR Amir has like just for this, this demonstration so um we'll go ahead and click on start another little disclaimer I want to mention as well if you experience any lagging issues with XR Amir and Vinyan you may want to have it where XR Amir has a lower quality version of your model since technically XR Amir and Vinyan are pretty much rendering your model so therefore rendering twice uh, the amount than it should be so if needed you may want to have it where XR Amir uses a lower quality version or just use the default model if you're unsure now you'll see some advice that will pop up on the left side of the screen it does move very fast so please keep that in mind it does cycle so don't worry but i'll still go over some stuff with you so what you're going to do is you're going to uh if you have the scroll wheel downwards so scroll down you'll zoom in and then if you scroll upward you can zoom out and then if you hold the control button and uh, drag with left click you can be able to pan your model now there's also rotation if you only just use the left click but in my opinion the uh, rotation is a little bit confusing for me so I try not to rotate them all too much I I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong um, I don't know why test Chan is doing that I did not I did not consent to this test chan. What the heck? Anyways, so once you, um, I mean, the camera will reset though, but I just want to make sure that you are comfortable with the camera controls. But what you are going to do next is you're going to go to webcam and media right here. Double click on this. And then what you're going to do is click on yes. And then it's going to find your cameras. Make sure to click on USB camera right here. And, uh, well, for my case, it's USB camera. You have to figure out which one is your web camera. It'll be a different name, like Elgato face cam or something like that. But once you select the web camera of your choice, you're then going to go over to motion capture right here. So double click on motion capture. And what you're going to then do is you're going to determine what do you want the tracking? Like what, what tracking do you want with XR Animator? Do you want face only? Do you want where it's the body and you have no finger tracking, especially if you're going to combine stretch sense finger tracking or leap motion fingers with xr animator or something or are you going to have the body in hands where it's like you know your body is being controlled by xr animator but your iphone is the face or you can have face and body if you want or full body if you want to include your legs so there's 
choose that, but for my case, I'm going to choose body and hands, but it's all up to you on what the heck do you want. You can experiment. There's also mocap options as well. You can experiment with the settings. There's a lot of settings to go through, um, but I won't get into that, but I'm going to go back to motion capture here and I'm going to click on body and hands. And then make sure you're in a neutral position. Make sure you're looking front. And if you have face tracking, make sure to keep your face at a neutral position while it calibrates. And make sure it stays still for some time while, you know, it kind of does its thing. But once you're make once you're sure that the tracking is or the calibration is kind of done, or at least your tracking is loaded, you can be able to start like moving around. There may be a bit of lag for my end here. But once you have that, you should be able to start seeing that your tracking should be working again like i said if you are lagging you may want to change the model so that way you're not lagging or anything like that again you can use test chan you know test chan is publicly available completely free so you can use test chan to help you out on your setup um but once you have your hand tracking working and uh to how you pretty much want it what you're going to then do is you're going to go over to vmc right here double click on this Keep uh, in mind about the port number here and make sure that the VMC protocol is set to on simply by clicking and you can click on done. And once you have that, you're going to then go over to your menu on the top right here. Click on settings, then scroll all the way down until you see all the VMC layers and you know, you just choose a layer that you want again, noting the VMC number since my VMC number is different. Um, I need to make sure I go to VMC here and make sure to take a look at the name. So 39539. So 39539. And then once I have that, a green light should appear indicating that uh, it has read the VMC, you know, the VMC setup or XR animator. And what you can then do from here is that you can see if you know, if it tracks your hand, which for my case, it does. And it's actually doing a pretty good job at blending Vignon's tracking with extra Amir because it does a good job at blending. But of course, if let's say you may want to not blend certain things, you can, of course, adjust the sliders accordingly. For example, maybe I want uh, anything related to the hip and the spine to be like set to zero or something from XR Animator. Um, or let's say, um, let's say for my left hand, I don't want the left hand to track or something. Like this is for XR Animator, by the way. If you want to like, I don't know, get rid of certain things. Like, oh, I, oh, I don't want XR Animator to uh, track the spine or like do anything with my Vignon spine or hip and legs. I only just want the hands from XR Animator. So, you know, just keep that in mind. You're just disabling what, what you don't want from XR Animator here. But... If they're, you know, you'll have to like experiment the things to how you want it. Cause again, everyone is different on their preference and it's just a matter of just self, um, exploring pretty much. I could also, again, adjust some of the things here if needed as well. So make sure to adjust both your, whatever settings you have in Vignon for your tracking and XR Amir, unless XR Amir is the one that you're solely doing the tracking with, then it'll be different. So really up to you. But other than that, though, that's pretty much. And also there is like blend shape tracking, which again, you can set up the blend shape tracking if you want XR Amir to, you know, deal with your blend shape, your face stuff. But either way, uh, that's pretty much how you can be able to set up XR Amir in Vignon. The rest is really up to you. And again, uh, regarding some troubleshooting, of course, it make sure to join Suvidro's Discord server. Uh, that's pretty much where most of the Vignon, like the up-to-date Vignon information is at. And other help, the dev, uh, Suvidrail, is active there. And I believe the creator of XR Animator is also there as well, in case of anything. Um, regarding, like... Again, like some tips I can give you about like, you know, your setup, make sure to adjust your web camera mounting, depending on what you're trying to go for. It depends on like your, your environment, your table and all that. So keep that in mind. Another thing as well is your lighting. Lighting is very important. If you have poor lighting, meaning that you have like a sort of like dark orange or very dark 
lighting you may want to invest in like a little mini lamp or something you don't have to get anything expensive just a simple light to lit up your you know lit up your face lit up your hands so you, you know the camera can see it pretty much think of having like a very like a semi-professional uh sort of like photo shooting or something but it's your it's your web camera for face tracking pretty much and also another thing as well is muscle memory because as you could probably see with how like my hand tracking is um in case you're wondering how i got it a little smooth it's also a matter of muscle memory learning the range of your camera because if i were to move my hands really fast right now you can see how derpish this looks this is not good but me having my hands like move very slowly IRL and also knowing that, okay, if I, my hands are like way too low, it's going to fall off a lot. So pretty much having it where my hands are like on the side of my head and just moving from there. Well, it's a little uncomfortable for me, especially keeping my hands up for too long. At the same time though, you know, it is how I'm able to get that nice like hand tracking with XR animator knowing your muscle memory but again it's really up to you you'd have to figure that out and again just experimenting but again keep in mind web camera is not perfect though you can only do so much when it comes to web camera tracking but even then though um besides doing some experimenting stuff that's pretty much all i can at least give you in terms of advice i mean there's other things i could probably say but i think it might be best if you, you know, the, it, it's really just like a case by case scenario on what issues you do experience. Like I said, um, you can contact the developer in the description below. I, again, will leave their social media there. And, you know, if you have to contact them, it's there. Or again, if you're in Suidro Discord server, you can ask around there and maybe other members of the community can help you. But that's all I gotta say though. I hope you do have a lovely day and uh, see you guys next time, okay? Bye-bye! Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey 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 goodbye bye everyone! I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye-bye!